Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at a supermarket called E-Mart. As they say here, it's one of the best supermarkets that I've found in Vietnam. So I really want to show you guys what it looks like. E-Mart is one of the largest supermarkets as well as one of the most well stocked ones as well. And they offer, you know, the convenience of complimentary parking for both motorbikes and cars. So adding to your ease, there's no need for an elevator ride. You just, you know, it's just one floor up, so it's very easy to get there. And as you can imagine, if you're into Korean food, you will love this place because, you know, they sell a lot of authentic, you know, Korean uh, foods and stuff like that. For example, kimchi and sauces and stuff like that. And hey, even chocolate, you know, I'm going to grab one of those as well. Pretty cheap, like 25K. They also have Korean snacks and stuff like that. So it's very cool that they have everything you need from Vietnam in this market, but also Korean stuff as well. The bread section at E-Mart is quite impressive, offering a variety of choices. Having sampled several options myself, I can attest to their consistently high quality actually. So additionally, the store features a selection of donuts, various desserts for those with a sweet tooth, you know, and also this BLT sandwich there for 33,000 is actually pretty decent I have to say I've had it a few times for lunch as well moving on to the prepared food section you'll discover you know a plethora of diverse dishes you know from sushi to all kinds of yeah fresh sushi as you can see and like a rice box with the prawn aka shrimp uh, I haven't tried those, but they look pretty fresh. And for 99,000 for that box, I would say that's a pretty good deal, actually. So, you know, fried chicken, a favorite both in Korea and Vietnam, has a special place here at E-Mart where you can select from very, you know, several different kinds of fried chicken and grilled chicken as well. And also, the, yeah, the grilled chicken is pretty cheap as well. And I've tried it and it's really not bad at all, guys. It's pretty delicious, actually. And they grill whole chickens and also roasted pork belly. OK, so if you're into that with a crackling skin, you can find that there as well. a lot of different kinds of apples you know from south africa australia and even france and sometimes i get the uh, south african ones they're pretty good and the price is not too bad as well at this uh, station you find a range of prepared dishes you know featuring you know traditional vietnamese cuisine perfectly paired with rice suitable for both lunch and dinner so, and they look pretty good as well. And also what, what's really surprising guys was the cold cut section here. You'll encounter a pleasant surprise actually. Just as I did a few months back when I noticed that they have a thing called guanciale, which is an Italian uh, product, meat product made from the pork cheek, which is a cured kind of like bacon thing, which is lovely. And also the cheese selection as well, you know, it's also commendable, you know, offering a de decent range, actually. Uh, it's worth noting that, understandably, you know, the prices for these imported delicacies are on the higher side, you know, naturally. You know, I also picked up uh, some tomatoes during my visit and, uh, you know, most vegetables, including tomatoes, carrots and even artichokes, are sourced from Dalat which is uh, not that far from Ho Chi Minh City, but it's elevated. So the climate is very suitable for growing those kind of uh, more European style uh, vegetables like tomato and artichoke and, you know, even strawberry and stuff like that. And the store features numerous tables where you can comfortably eat on the spot, you know, while I visited just after their opening at 8 a.m. It's worth noting, guys, that this section usually becomes very crowded during lunch and dinner hours, okay? So I'm here literally like 8, 15 a.m., <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm um, gra grabbing some tofu there, but no, um, it's not for myself, you know, I'm not a soy boy. I hope you can get the joke there, but uh, <laughs> anyway, I I still got it, you know. 
Um, you also have the option of uh, these imported vegetables, such as you know celery and different cabbages from Europe, actually from the EU. The mushroom, um, it's well stocked with a variety of options. You know, making it a kind of like a heaven for anyone fond of uh, mushrooms, actually. So uh, good on them for um, uh, keeping it well stocked there with uh, mushrooms. Also, I'm getting some carrots there, which are also from Dalhat region. Um, very good quality, actually. I mean, it's a little bit sad they are packaged like this, you know, individually, basically in uh, plastic. But, you know, that's kind of how it is here in Vietnam. I would rather just pick them myself, like um, if I want one or two and I just weigh it and pay for it. But anyway, uh, all right, guys, this is the king of fruits, durian. So if you haven't experienced it yet, I definitely recommend giving it a try. And why the aroma can be quite strong and pungent, you'll often find that the taste is somewhat milder than the smell, actually. So it's a, it's a unique fruit, but I recommend it. And also watermelon, they're very cheap, like 11 or 15,000, I bought that. Okay, this is pretty impressive, guys. The seafood section, you will find an extensive array of choices ranging from fresh prawns and fish to oysters, salmon heads even. Uh, it's quite impressive, like I said. And uh, on my visit, I opted for some oysters, actually, which are typically farmed in the northern part of in the country they are very fresh and uh, it's a delicious option you know if you like seafood and they also have fresh clams and stuff like that so actually very impressive to be honest like you can get any kind of fish and fish product there and seafood but yeah i ended up getting some uh, oysters there also the uh meat section is incredibly uh impressive i have to say in europe for example it can be quite challenging to find specific items like chicken bones or marrow bones and stuff like that however here they seem to sell almost every part of the meat you know catering to wide range of culinary needs obviously if you're into cooking and stuff like that so this makes it um, extremely convenient to purchase uh, meat at this uh e-mart as they say um, and you're likely to find exactly what you need for any particular recipe or preference for example if you need like minced meat or imported meat or uh, ribs or something like that you know and uh, uh, today i'm getting some minced uh, imported beef with some local uh, minced pork actually because i'm gonna go back home <laughs> i'm gonna make a, a japanese um hamburger it's like um kind of like a japanese steak made of uh, beef and pork either you can get um you know oxtail marrow bones beef heart beef uh you know pig's heart uh, liver and stuff like that and yeah, and as being a Korean supermarket, there's an entire corner here dedicated exclusively to Korean products. So including red pepper paste, for example, and various sauces and stuff like that. So it's a perfect spot for anyone looking looking to explore or recreate our, you know, traditional Korean flavors uh, and stuff. So um, it's a pretty cool uh, mixture, you know, of all local food you can um, imagine, but also this uh, Korean thing as well. Here is uh, the frozen food section at E-Mart is uh, impressively large actually, spread along several aisles actually and it offers a wide range of options, you know, ranging from dumplings to ice cream to various meats and pre-cooked meals even. So you can literally buy anything frozen there and, and, and live off that basically. So it's very impressive. And as you can see, it's very clean as well. Yes, this is right after they open like 8, 15 a.m. But I've been here, you know, during lunchtime and afternoon and stuff, but it's always very clean here. So they keep you know, to keep, <laughs> keep it very well. So I have to give them a thumbs up for that. You know, they have even like expensive, like imported frozen berries and hagen das even if you want that. And if you didn't know, pork meat and pork products uh, hold a significant place in the Vietnamese cuisine, right? So at this supermarket, you'll easily find an assortment of pork related items, you know, different type of sausages and bacon, 
you know, maybe the flavor of this product might slightly differ from what you are used to um, in Europe or North America, but still pretty good. You can get decent uh, bacon and uh, sausages and stuff like that here as well that are freshly made. And also frozen fish. I can recommend this personally. It's like a mackerel, which is um, supposedly um, wild caught, I reckon. So, um, yeah, it's. I don't know if it's true, but it's supposed to be very good for you. But also like meat, imported uh, Japanese beef and stuff like that, and Iberico uh, pork as well. Uh, so a pretty, pretty impressive uh, frozen uh, section here, guys. You know, instant noodles are practically a staple in Vietnam with most uh, households typically having at least one package tucked away somewhere in the kitchen, actually. And uh, regarding pasta, guys, uh, while this supermarket does a... While this supermarket does have a decent selection, it's worth noting that um, high-end pasta brands are not part of the range. So it's more like simple brands and stuff like that. But it's pretty decent. But if you want high-quality pasta, you can go to a place called Anam. But what was very impressive here, they have like Iberico um, pork and imported Italian meat as well. For not, I mean, the price is obviously high, but not crazy high as well. And here you have a dessert called uh, Bang Flan, which is basically a flan, if you're familiar with the uh, Spanish cuisine. And uh, I'm getting this butter here, guys. It's West Gold butter from uh, New Zealand, and it's grass-fed, and it was on sale today as well. So... I grabbed a package of that. Uh, very, very tasty butter. I can highly recommend it if you uh, want to try it. I'm also getting some olive oil here um, because my olive oil from Italy that I brought last year from Europe, it's uh, you know finished already. So I got to buy here, but I just get a not too expensive brand. They do have cheese as well locally made cheese if you didn't know there's actually companies here in vietnam making for example you can see here like mozzarella burrata and those kind of cheeses you know and they are pretty pricey as you can see they're like ninety thousand. that's like almost five dollars for a small package but they taste they taste pretty decent it's not very high quality but it's it's actually pretty decent uh, so cheese in general is um, maybe not the best quality here, but you can go to other places, like I said, like the Anam, which is a gourmet market, and they sell, you know, high-end uh, cheeses. And if you love yogurt, guys, it's going to be uh, expensive in Vietnam. You can buy Greek yogurt, but it's going to cost a lot of money, yeah, like $10 for a big package there. But I'm getting an imported one. I think it's from Thailand. And there goes my glasses. <laughs> Cannot even keep my glasses in place. But yeah, that imported one is not that bad from uh, Thailand. Uh, milk as well, you can find here easily. But after just being in um, Hokkaido in northern Japan, trying their milk, I almost never want to have any other milk in my life because that milk was incredible, guys, actually. But... You know, and I'm a sucker for these, uh, it's called zaka, which is uh, literally fish skin, okay? It's like fish skin with a salted egg seasoning, which is um, very tasty in my opinion. So, and also guys, here they sell everything you need, <laughs> basically. You can get uh, kitchen appliances, you can get like stoves, microwaves, mixers, blenders, all kinds of uh, kettles these kind of barbecue uh, stoves as well and also clothing you can get like like literally like you can buy your whole wardrobe <laughs> if you want if you want to cheap out a little bit and also everything you need for the kitchen not just appliances but like pots and pans and plates and bowls and glass as well so this supermarket is this supermarket is very very well stocked i have to say I mean, this, it's the best one I've seen in Vietnam, personally. There's another Korean-owned um, supermarket chain called 
Lotte Mart, which is, you know, related to the Lotte, which is pretty good. And guys, I have to show you this uh, bread here. It's uh, 6.8K for one, which is like 20 cents. It's literally like 65 centimeters long. So it was like a huge piece of uh, bang mi, as they call it here, the bread. And obviously, as you can see, you can even buy decent clothing. It doesn't even look that bad, honestly. It looks pretty decent. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tour. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the supermarket because I just think it's interesting myself, you know, I'm, and I'm very happy that E-Mart exists here. And now you can see me struggling to <laughs> pack all my stuff, including this huge piece of bread, but I eventually just put it there uh, underneath my seat. And like I said, it's free to park your bike here when you shop here. So it's very convenient if you don't live uh, too far away. Like for myself, I live pretty nearby. So it's pretty easy just to go there, park your bike and buy your stuff yourself. You know, they, they do ship, but it's very limited amount, the amount of items that you can order. Anyway, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Take care and I see you in the next video.